Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use a tree diagram to calculate the probability of an event. So we're going to usually use a tree diagram if we've got a combination of events happening. So in an exam a usual question might be something like Jack takes a counter out of a bag, he replaces it and picks out another counter, what's the probability both counters were red? Something like that and if you see that you're probably going to be using a tree diagram. So I think the best way to look at this is with a couple questions. So let's look at this one first and it says three red socks and six blue socks are in a bag. One is taken out at random and then it's replaced and then a second is taken out. And the first part of the question wants us to complete the tree. So this is what the probability tree looks like. And you can see we've got the first sock here. So the probability we could either take a red or a blue. And then we've got the exact same, but for the second sock over here. So we call these parts of the tree the branches of the tree and we write the probability of the event happening on the branch of the tree. So let's fill in the tree with probabilities. So we've got, if you remember, three red socks and we had six blue socks. So what would be the probability if I take my first sock out of the bag that it's red? Well, there are nine socks in total and out of those nine, three of them are red. So the probability is gonna be three over nine, which you could write as one third. And through the same logic, the probability I pick a blue sock first, well, there's six blue socks out of a total of nine. So it's gonna be six over nine which is equal to two thirds. Now, the probability for my second pick, so these ones here, well, if we look back at this, the question, it says that the socks are taken out at random, but then it says that they're replaced, okay? So taking a sock at my second pick, the probability is gonna be the exact same as it was when I picked out at the start, because nothing has actually changed. They're like independent events, pretty much. And so the probability is gonna be the exact same. So for red, it will be one third, and for blue, it will be two thirds. So let's fill that in here. So how do we use this tree to calculate probabilities? So say we wanted the probability I pick two red socks, for example. Well, to do that, I'd have to go along this branch and then this branch. So I'd have to pick a red sock first and then a red sock second. And to find the probability of that, you just multiply it along the branches. So we're gonna do one third multiplied by one third, and that gives me one ninth. And that one ninth is the probability that I would pick two red socks. So let's have a look at the second part of the question. It says, find the probability that both socks are the same color. So for both socks to be the same color, I could pick a red and then a red, or we could pick a blue and then a blue. So we already have the probability that I picked a red, two red socks. So to find the probability we pick two blue, I'm just gonna do two thirds multiplied by two thirds, and that's gonna give me four ninths. And so now, out of these two options, we've got one ninth and four ninths. Well, we need to add those two probabilities together. And so that gives me, let's write it up here, one ninth plus four ninths. So the probability is gonna be five ninths. Let's look at the third part of the question. It says to find the probability that both socks are different colors. So let me get rid of these bits I've drawn. So for them to be different colors, I could pick a red sock first. But if I do that for them to be different colors, I'd need to pick a blue sock second. Or we could pick a blue sock first, but then I'd need to pick a red sock second for them to be different colors. And so we're just gonna multiply it along the branches again. So we've got one third multiplied by two thirds, and that's just gonna be two over nine. And it's gonna be the same for the other branch. So it's gonna be two thirds multiplied by one third, which is also two over nine. And so if I get rid of this, the probabilities we're interested in now are these two here. And so we add them together and we get two ninths plus two ninths, which is gonna be equal to four ninths. And that's the probability that both socks are different colors. So let's have a look at a slightly different question here. Okay, so it says three red socks and six blue socks are in a bag. One is taken out at random, but this time it's without replacement. So it's gonna be different from the first question we looked at. And then a second sock is taken out. And we need to find the probability at least one sock is red. So same as before, we've got three red socks and we've got six blue. So let's fill out a bit of the probability tree first, just so we see how it changes without replacement. So say we took a blue sock first, what's the probability of that? Well, there are six blue socks out of a total of nine, so it's gonna be six over nine, which is equal to two over three. But say I've taken a blue sock, and then I wanna find the probability I take another blue sock, so this branch here. Well, that's gonna change because I've taken a blue sock out without replacement, so now, for the second probability, there's only five blue socks remaining. So that probability is gonna be five over a total of now eight socks, because we've removed one. Okay, so that's how they're gonna change. So how can we find the probability at least one of the socks is red? 
Well, that's going to be equal to picking a red and then a red, or a red then a blue, or a blue and then a red. But that would be quite a lot of work to find out all of those probabilities, times them together, add them up. So instead, because the sum of all probabilities is equal to one, okay, the probability that we pick at least one red sock, one red sock is gonna be equal to one minus the probability we pick no red socks. So there are probably no red socks, okay? And because of that, all I need to do is find out the probability I pick a blue and then I pick another blue, which can be found by doing two thirds multiplied by five eighths. And so we get a probability of 10 over 24, which we could simplify to five over 12. And that's the probability that we pick no red socks. So then to find the answer, we're gonna do one minus five over 12, and that's gonna leave us with an answer of seven over 12. And so if we put it here, our answer is seven over 12. So hopefully that was useful. If it was, subscribe, like this video, go over to my channel for tons of other maths tutorials, and thanks for watching.